Hello, and welcome to today's webinar on TSI Collections. Today, we will be going over a brief overview of the TSI Collection interface, how to sign up for TSI, how to set up and use the TSI Bridge within Open Dental, as well as collecting payments using TSI. TSI stands for Trans World System Incorporated and works within Open Dental as an integrated collections interface. Your office will sign up for TSI service first, then enable it within Open Dental. Then you will be able to send delinquent accounts to TSI directly from the Open Dental Manage module. You will also be able to collect payments in a timely manner. Patients can pay you directly or send payments to TSI. Either way, the payment will be created separately inside of Open Dental. The first step of getting TSI set up is to sign up for the services. You may have already seen the TSI link in the Manage module, right here. This link will take you directly to the TSI signup page when the bridge is not yet enabled. Once you complete the signup process, a TSI representative will reach out to your office. When your office signs up, you will select from TSI's three base services, Accelerator, Profit Recovery, and Professional Collections. The Accelerator service is used for accounts with a balance less than 90 days old. Profit Recovery is used for accounts with a balance between 91 days and 6 months old. And Professional Collections is used for all accounts older than 6 months. A TSI representative would be more than happy to assist you in picking the best service for your office's needs. Once your office has signed up with TSI and are ready to set up the program within Open Dental, the first thing your office will want to do is create two custom billing types. To do that, we'll go to Setup and Definitions and come over to Billing Types. The first billing type we will want to create, we will label TSI Collections. And we will add a C for Collection in the second column here. This billing type will be automatically assigned to patients that are sent to TSI. This billing type will have the C in the definitions window in the second column. The second billing type we will want to create is our TSI excluded. This billing type is used to exclude a patient from being sent to TSI for collections. For this, we will add a CE in the second column in the definition window. There are a few things to keep in mind for these. These billing types can be named whatever your office prefers. There should only be one collection or C billing type and one CE or collections excluded billing type for excluded patients. Do not manually assign TSI billing types to a patient as this can allow for patients to fall through the cracks as the change in the billing type will not be sent to TSI automatically. Also, do not manually change a patient's billing type from a TSI collections billing type to anything else. This will not stop TSI account management, but it will stop Open Dental from sending updates to TSI for that patient. All billing type changes related to TSI should happen automatically while using the TSI collections interface in the Manage module. We strongly recommend that you exclude patients with the TSI collections billing type when sending out statements. To do this, you will just select the billing type in the billing filters when running your statements. Once we have our billing types created, the next step is to enable the TSI program bridge. To do that, we will go to Setup and Program Links. We will then scroll down towards the bottom and click on our Transworld Systems Incorporated, or TSI for short. Once here, the first thing we'll want to do is click Enabled. Next, we will want to check the boxes of the services that your office has signed up for with TSI. Those again are Accelerator, Profit Recovery, and Professional Collections. Once done, we will then want to enter in the SFTP server details that TSI will provide to you at the time of sign up. Once we have that entered, we will then want to enter in the client IDs for Accelerator Profit Recovery and Collection that TSI will also provide to your office when you sign up for those services. The next option we have is our paid in full thank you letter. With this checked, TSI will send your patient a paid in full thank you letter 
when they have paid off the full balance that has been sent to TSI. If you would prefer that TSI not send this letter, we can uncheck this here. The next thing to look at is our account activity update section. The first thing is going to be when you would like Open Dental Service to send updates to TSI. Typically, we would recommend having this time be after hours or when you are not seeing patients. For example, the time we have selected here is 5 p.m. Please keep in mind that this time does go off of your local time. Next, we can select how often we would like this to repeat. If you would like it to repeat and update every day, you can have one and then days here. And lastly, once the patient has paid their balance in full, we will then want to select the paid in full billing type. In this example, we'll just select standard account. So once a patient who is in collections pays in full, TSI will automatically change the billing type to standard account again. Coming back up here just a little bit, we can set excluded positive or negative adjustment types that will set these adjustment types to not be sent to TSI. This is useful if your office is writing off patient accounts once they are sent to collection. Let's create those now. Once a patient's account has been sent to TSI for management, your office can choose to leave the outstanding balance on the patient's account or your office can use a TSI excluded adjustment type to write off the balance. If your office does plan to use adjustment types for TSI, we strongly recommend that you create brand new adjustment types and only use them for TSI accounts. To create these adjustment types, we will go to Setup, Definitions, and Adjustment Types. The first adjustment type that we'll want to create is what we call the TSI excluded positive. And then we will add a plus sign here. This positive adjustment type can be used to increase the patient balance to allow for patient payments that are made directly to the office after writing off the outstanding patient balance. The next adjustment type we will create is our TSI excluded negative. And we will add a subtraction sign here. The negative adjustment type can be used to write off the patient balance so that it no longer shows an open dental, but it won't change the amount that TSI is set to manage for collections. This adjustment type is also used if the patient pays TSI and then TSI pays your office. By using this adjustment type, it will allow for the office to account for TSI taking out its fees from the patient payment. If your office does not write off the outstanding balance and the patient wants to make a payment, the office can just take the payment as normal and TSI will get the updated patient balance when Open Dental Service refreshes. Once those adjustments are created, we can then assign those to be the excluded adjustment types within the program link for TSI. So we'll go back to Setup and Program Links. We'll go down to our TSI link here and hit the drop down to grab our TSI excluded positive and TSI excluded negative adjustment types, and we'll click Save. Once the bridge is set up, we are now able to use TSI within Open Dental. To do so, you will just come into the Manage module and then select the TSI Collections button. Once pressed, the interface will run aging on all accounts. The first tab that we will land in is the Unsent Accounts tab. This is going to list all guarantors who have a balance based off of the filter criteria at the top and are not currently enrolled in TSI. Keep in mind that guarantors with a CE or a collections excluded billing type will be excluded from this list. Accounts highlighted in red indicate that the guarantor is missing information required by TSI. You are able to hover over the account to find what information is missing. For Mr. Shirley's case, he has an invalid birthday. The filter criteria up at the top of the window can be changed and altered to fit your preference and can be saved as default for easier use next time. To send a guarantor to TSI, you will first start off by selecting them in the 
account list. And at the bottom, you will want to select the service type that you are sending. Using the dropdown, you can select Accelerator, Profit Recovery, or Professional Collections. Once you have the service type selected, you can hit the Send to TSI arrow. When you click Send, any recommendation that TSI has for those accounts will display, such as outstanding claims, for example. You can choose to cancel sending the account now or continue. The TSI collections billing type that we created earlier will now automatically be assigned to any account that we just sent. TSI will then manage the collections activity on that account until the balance is paid. You can also right-click to go to an account or mark an account as excluded. To be reflected in the Accounts Receivable Manager, make sure to use the Run Aging button in the bottom right-hand corner. Marking Excluded changes the guarantor's billing type to the TSI excluded billing type that we created earlier and will stop them from showing in the unsent accounts tab. The next tab to review is our sent accounts tab. This will show all of the accounts that have been sent to TSI for management. To stop collection efforts for a patient account, select the guarantor to suspend or cancel collections from. Next, at the bottom, we will want to select the new status. The two statuses to choose from are Suspend or Cancel. Suspend will suspend an account from TSI for up to 50 days. If it is sent to TSI after those 50 days, it will be sent as a new account. The Cancel status will cancel TSI services for that account. Accounts can be resent, but they will be sent as a brand new account. Next, you will want to select the new billing type for that account and then hitting the Update TSI button here will send the new information to TSI immediately and the accounts will show again in the Unsent Accounts tab. The last tab in the TSI interface is our Excluded Accounts tab. This will show accounts that have been marked excluded from collections either by marking them as such in the Unsent Accounts tab by right-clicking and marking Excluded or by manually changing their billing type to an excluded TSI billing type. To make eligible for TSI again, just right-click on the account and mark Unsent. They will then show up in the Unsent Accounts tab again. There is a specific protocol when inputting payments paid from the patient to TSI or from the patient to your office. The patient is able to do either. If the patient pays your office directly for their account, the first step is to go to the patient's account and click Payment. You will be asked if the payment is from the patient or if it is from TSI. Click Yes to indicate that this payment is coming from the patient. From here, you will enter payment as normal. When the Open Dental Service does its daily sync, the payment information will be sent to TSI and their account balance will be updated. If the patient pays TSI and then TSI sends a payment to your office, from the patient's account, click Payment. You will be asked again if the payment is from the patient or if it is from TSI. Click No to indicate that the payment came from TSI. Enter in the amount of the payment that TSI sent. If the patient is in collections, this amount will be less than the payment they made to TSI. Since the payment amount from TSI was less than the patient paid, we need to enter a negative adjustment to write off the difference. To do so, click Adjustment. When asked if the adjustment is applied by your office, say no to indicate that this adjustment is a result of a payment received by TSI. Enter in the adjustment amount, and then select the negative TSI adjustment type we created, and click Save. You will get a pop-up letting you know that the guarantor of this family has been sent to TSI for a past due balance, and the adjustment type that we have selected is excluded from being synced with TSI. So this will not reduce the balance sent for collection by TSI. If your office chooses to write off the outstanding balance for a given patient sent to TSI, to do so, you will come into the account module and select Adjustment. You will be asked if this is an adjustment applied by your office or a result of a payment. In this case, you will select yes because the office is doing the adjustment. 
From here, you will enter the overall outstanding balance and then select the negative TSI excluded adjustment type. This will write off the balance inside of Open Dental, but because it is an excluded TSI adjustment type, this information will not be sent to TSI, so TSI will still see the full account balance on their end. To make a payment on a account that has a written off balance, you must first add a positive adjustment type to bring up what the payment will be. To do so, in the patient's account, select adjustment, select yes because this is being applied by your office, and then enter the amount that we would like to bring the account back up to. We will then select the positive TSI excluded adjustment type. This will bring the account balance back up to the allotted amount to where you can then take the payment. And the payment information will be taken as normal. And once saved, you will see the write off line item, the positive line item where we brought the account balance back up, and then the payment line item. It is important to keep in mind that because these are excluded TSI adjustment types, TSI will only see that a payment was made and the balance will be updated on TSI's end. Some good practices while using TSI is to review accounts carefully before sending them to TSI. Any balance changes made to a TSI account will be sent to TSI unless you are using an excluded adjustment type. It is also important to avoid sending patients to TSI when they have outstanding claims or unsent procedures. We only send the patient portion to TSI, but if insurance pays an amount that's different from the insurance estimates, it may reflect as a debit or a credit on TSI's side. Another thing to keep in mind is an account consists of the entire family's balance, so try to refrain, if possible, from moving patients into or out of the family while their collections are being handled by TSI, as this may affect the family's balance, which will update the balance reflected on TSI's side. If a patient has a payment plan with your office, you will need to decide whether to keep the payment plan open and continue to manage the account on your own, or close the payment plan and send the patient to TSI. A TSI patient cannot have an active payment plan. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any questions about TSI features or setup, please contact TSI. If you have additional setup questions, please call Open Dental Support at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com and make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.